Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash in general. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. So hello, welcome to episode 65 of the In General Podcast. My name is Jack and I'm joined with Chris. How are you doing, bud? I'm doing pretty good, man. How about yourself? I'm good. So we have our first look at Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Well, the first video, the first film clip, or whatever you want to call this. <laughs> it's it's really it's really hard to contextualize what it is because it's literally just like six seconds of footage, no context, and it just starts and it ends and there's like there's nothing to supplement it, not like, oh, trailer tease coming soon or anything like that. It's so hard <laughs> yeah. to explain. Um What is it? it's a six seconds exactly, isn't it? Six second yeah. clip with limited context but what we're seeing there is baby blue or a young velociraptor that looks like blue has the blue stripe yeah i mean it's a baby velociraptor not a hatchling but a young velociraptor and it 100 percent. i mean she looks just like blue if blue were a baby yeah i just want to throw this out here now while i remember i like how the proportions of the baby raptor it kind of reminds me of um the old kenner hatchlings the old kenner toys or like which were based off of the crash mccreary artwork it's certainly much larger than the one in the first Jurassic Park, obviously. Yeah. Um, but it's interesting because in the first in the Jurassic Park novel, the raptor's old enough that it jumps on top of Tim, right? Yeah, yeah, it pounces into his arms. Yeah, and that would kind of be this size. So in a way, they've taken inspiration from that kind yeah, of and it, scene I, and the concept say it, art that came with it. Didn't they say it purrs? Wasn't it in the novel that like it purrs like a cat sort of when it's something in his arms? like that? Yeah, which is kind of what you can see here. The, yeah. the tickle under the chin. That's very animalistic a very uh dog cat kind of thing I mean, it's, I, it's really interesting I love, I love that like you know it's no secret that uh trained adult velociraptors weren't necessarily something i love seeing but seeing this interaction with them as a baby animal i absolutely love it and it totally makes sense to me it looks all right too it looks pretty good yeah i just wish it was in hd yeah, like, I mean, it's, it's 720, kind of but it's Twitter 720, yeah. and that's compressed as hell. The bitrate's really low. So we're not seeing, uh, and it's not on EPK or anything, so it's, we're not seeing like a high-res uh, clip. It'd be good to see it so we can properly judge the visual effects. But yeah, so we're seeing Chris Pratt uh, as Owen Grady in costume, um, wearing a falcon-like, uh, what do you call those things? Those like arm- a falconeer like arm pad, so like <laughs> yeah. the talons don't like <laughs> don't the arm. Pratt. Yeah. Oh, poor Owen. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna hurt, buddy. Yeah, no. it's a, so we're seeing him in costume. His costume is much better this time around. It looks more jungle dark. It's nice. It's yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, it's nothing special, but he, it kind he likes of fits his vest more. and he likes his Henleys. Is what I'm learning yeah. about Owen. <laughs> yeah, because those if are the only the things we've ever seen him wear. Of, if it's the aesthetic more of Lost World, uh, much darker clothing, navy blues and uh, gray trousers, kind of thing. I, I hope if we're looking into it that far, I hope a character in Fallen Kingdom wears a flannel. Because then we could just call it Flannel Kingdom. Just, just, just throwing that out there. Flannel Kingdom. But yeah. so, what does this clip tell us? Where is he? He's it's daylight. He's very clean. So this is not like he's been trekking through the drunk jungle for three days and has stumbled upon blue. The the artwork in the background kind of looks like the original visitor center artwork, which yeah, is that in was, the article. But that was I, my initial speculation for sure. Um, but it might not be. I mean, the raptors aren't on it, and the. Uh, the pompadour, the one with the big red horn, Elvis, <laughs> isn't there on the artwork that's there. It's slightly different, it's, but it's clearly inspired by. I mean, it's such a close up, like, it's such a narrow field of view that it's really hard to say definitively. I mean, it looks just like, um, it looks very similar to the mural in the visitor center. Yeah. But it does look a little too clean. But I'm playing that off as just like the depth of field making it look a little better. But it's very bright also. But maybe that's from the Indominus yeah. busting through the wall, and you could you could exactly you could imagine this is this is the visitor center, and that light coming through is from a caved in ceiling or from the lights at the top. But it's hard to know. It's a close up on Chris Pratt, and it, obviously the depth of field has made it more difficult to judge well, where first, we are. My first instinct was this was a flashback, and it's baby blue, or okay. blue as a baby. And then I started looking at the footage, and I'm like, well, wait. Owen is, seems to be wearing his same outfit that he's wearing in Fallen Kingdom, judging by the set photos that came out. Yeah. Um, and that looks like the Visitor Center, which I guess that could go either way, but I just 
didn't picture him purposely training Blue as a baby in the visitor center. Know. Like, you know, that's just like a really Take weird him location. out to this like weird <laughs> restricted zone. Like, you're on your own. Him in Find your way yeah. back. It's time, it's time you learn to fend for yourself, Blue. God. <laughs> It's like chatty. Yeah, no, it, it's hard to it's it's hard to <clears throat> contextualize when and where this takes place. It, because in my opinion, this is not a clip from Fallen Kingdom. This is not a first clip from the movie. The yeah. camera work alone, obviously, they could have uh, edited an actual shot from the film, but the camera work has that kind of horrible post zoom yeah, effect zoom. that you see in found footage movies to make it look like it's somebody who doesn't know how to use a camera. Do you know what I mean? That kind of post zoom in and out. It, it, I mean, yeah, it it's got a it's handheld fake. look, it's... and it's not, like, handheld, like, in a cinematic sense. It does seem exactly. like Exactly, you would never see this kind of effect in a, in the in the actual movie. This is definitely but a viral clip. This it, is the kind of I thing don't... you see, like, Cloverfield do. I don't know if it's a viral clip, though, because, for one thing, there seems to be CG in full effect in this clip. I mean, as far as I can tell, that's a CG raptor. I mean, it looks good, don't get me wrong, but that does look like a CG raptor to me. Yeah, from what I can see, obviously, without it seeing better than 720p uh it's fine it looks there was good. something uncanny like it, about it that made me think it could be a puppet but like and and we can probably say this now you and i have known that baby blues in the movie because there was a leak um we saw a unpainted puppet a long time ago and we kept that quiet so like we know that there is a puppet for the the effect but that does not look to be like the puppet to me no the puppet was much uh younger too yeah i don't know maybe that was just a different direction like maybe that was just an early um like an early test. I think whatever this is is probably he's probably interacting with something physical, but it's like a CGI head, maybe. Yeah, they've I don't, definitely I don't know. added elements. Maybe they've enhanced elements. But the back, when the it goes a little bit wider, the back of the raptor looks pretty cool. As in its actual back, you can see the skin. Like a, there's a bit yeah, more light on it. It reminds me it of a, cool. a gecko, actually, like that kind of soft, almost. Uh, yeah. What's the word? What's the right word? Like velvety. Is that the right yeah, word for like, like a gecko's skin? Yeah, I know what you mean. It kind of does look like that, but it's but it's undeniably felty, it's maybe. blue or it's blue's offspring. If or yeah, it's, yeah, I mean it's, it's young blue. The striping is identical to blue, and it's hard to tell because of the um, compression. But it does seem like she has the same sort of like bumpy scoots and spikes on her face that blue has, like in a yeah, near identical fashion. Yeah, she's got the little fashion. bumps, man. So for sure. she's got I like mean, the little spots. I mean, if this is Blue's offspring, then she literally looks just like Blue. See, that's just the thing, though. The thing that, I guess, if Owen wasn't wearing what I believe to be his Fallen Kingdom costume, I would immediately go, oh, well, this is Owen with Blue as a baby, and it's a flashback, or it's like a home video, and when we see it in the movie, it, he's going to be, like, watching it on a screen, or it's gonna someone else is going to be watching it or something. But I, I really don't know. Maybe I should forget my assumption of what his costume looks like in the movie at this point yeah it's hard to though when we've seen I mean okay so it, put it like this you know the set pictures where they wash up on the island yeah no because that doesn't make sense because it's it's Claire and Pratt uh, on and, the island on the Franklin. beach as, and Franklin yeah so it doesn't make sense at all so but it, this could very well be like in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes like we were saying before we actually hit record Chris in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, when they return to the original home of Caesar where, uh, with James Franco's house, and they play the little play a, camera yeah, clip. recorder, and they, it plays just a clip from them. That could be this, and Owen could be kind of looking back on old or archive memories. footage, or, and that could be what inspires him to go back to New Blood. I mean, mm -hmm. probably not. There's probably a much bigger reason, but it could be one of them. He's going to go I, back and save Blue. I mean, with the whole volcano plotline, which is obvious at this point with all the um marketing materials that have hit um yeah, i mean it's just it's, and it's, it's silly tweet. and frank marshall just tweeted it unceremoniously he's just like yeah there's a volcano in fallen kingdom anyway well it wasn't even that he was like he was like yeah two movies with uh, volcanoes now <laughs> like as if it had already been known <laughs> oh frank. i love his tweets just crack me up sometimes yeah um just like when uh, Colin was doing the countdown for the Jurassic World trailer a few years back, and then like he was doing the countdown, and then Frank Marshall just tweeted the trailer before Colin even finished his countdown. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's like, "Ah, oh, fuck it, here's the trailer." Uh, don't keep him waiting. <laughs> oh, no, man. this is cool though. This is a good clip. Six seconds, and on Twitter is a very weird way to 
reveal the first footage, but uh, especially with no cool. again, People there's no it. context. Do you think this was like a a long plan thing, or do you think this is a reaction to fans really assuming that the trailer was going to come this week and really begging for something? Um, that's a tough question. That is a tough question. I don't think this is the kind of scale. I mean, okay, so they could have picked and choose from a number of clips that they made specifically for for marketing purposes. They could have been like, well, we need to pull one out of the bag because everyone's talking about it. But I don't know. This, I mean, it's quite complex visual effects. Quite yeah. a complex shot for them to just do overnight. You know. Well, it could be a clip that they have ready for the trailer. Like maybe it's integrated into the trailer and it makes sense when it's in the trailer. But do you think that they planned to put it out this entire time? Because it was just sort of like, here's six seconds of footage with no context and, like, nothing to supplement it. <laughs> you know, like, there was no, like, tweet from Jurassic World or anything like that, like, trailer coming soon or anything along those lines, really. Yeah, and, and obviously we expect the trailer to come within the next few days. I mean, I'm thinking, well, I think December, right? Yeah, yeah. It's... And I think, I mean, sh- can we... Can, can, can I say the date? Yeah, I think, I mean, again... It's not 100%, right? Because it's things not... change like that in Hollywood. Exactly. They... Things do change. But since we were... Um, we had somebody message into Jurassic Outpost. And uh, they they told us the date of the trailer. The way people, you know, just sometimes message things. And we're like, oh, interesting. That might be true. They asked us not to share, so we didn't. Um, but then, actually, someone messaged me. Else, someone else was like, hey, you can share this. And this is what I believe the date is. And I'm like... <laughs> Wow, and I played dumb. I'm like, cool, sounds cool. But anyways, yeah, we're hearing December 7th. Yeah, um, which is, uh, what are we talking? That is a Thursday. Yes, and we're hearing in the evening. American time, right? East Coast. Yeah, and I mean, again, West. just to be clear, things do change. I, I think that that is the date that they're going for. Um, because right around the same time period, we had a few people contact us and say, hey, this is the trailer. So I'm guessing like, maybe like marketing plans went out or something and people in their own respective jobs were able to catch wind of it i didn't really ask for too many more details i hope we see something dark next if they're going to do like a few clips leading up to a full trailer you know a few six second clips i'm cool with that i think that's an interesting way to do it no teaser trailer per se just a few six second clips yeah and a then few a full no trailer. Com- yeah that's I, pretty cool that's pretty I cool i would like to um, see like a different character and maybe something a little bit more dramatic if that's how yeah, I want to see it. some actual Jurassic action. I want to see something dark now. Start with this. Start with you know, that's how it always starts. Something <laughs> bright like this. Something happy. Oh my god, dinosaurs! Amazing. Then something scary. Then Chris Pratt getting his head ripped off or something like that. <laughs> you know, come on, be honest, um, be brutal. A friend had called me uh, after the footage had dropped, and he had said, he said, "Oh, do you think that's from the trailer?" He's like, "I could almost see." You know, sometimes trailers open up on something light before they get into the story. It's like, yeah. I could almost see that being the, uh, the, almost like the inciting incident, not of the movie, but of the trailer. Like, where it starts with this, where you hear, like, Owen reminiscing, you see the footage, and then it cuts into, like, the whole, like, talking about the volcano or something, and kind of playing out the stakes of why these characters are going back. And you have uh, Owen's, of course, his emotional core with Blue, wanting her not to get, you know, vaporized by lava on fire. Because, <laughs> you know, that would be horrible. I gotta save that chick. Um, <laughs> six foot turkey. Um, <laughs> no, it's cool. It's a cool clip. I want more though. I want more now. Yeah, exactly. It, it leaves a it leaves a lot more questions. Um, it leaves a lot more questions than answers, uh, which I think is probably purposeful on their behalf. Mm. But it's still like you know, I would love to officially know when the trailer's coming. Like, yeah, we've been told at Jurassic Outpost from like people emailing us like the date, but that's still not the same as like Universal being like here's a date or like give me like a little bit of a clear indication of what's happening next and what's interesting is we haven't even had a still from inside of the film because apparently that first photo of um the girl looking at the fossils that was taken by the set photographer so we still don't really have an idea of like how the cinematography is in the movie no i guess this gives us a a bit of a clip but again i don't see this this clip ever being in the movie unless it's home video vhs through a camera or something you know not vhs you know what i mean if that's not the case though and it is a flashback that really does that that, that's interesting because jurassic park films they've always had a uh, linear storytelling um timeline you know yeah this would break it up yeah Yeah. it would really change things it would open up i'm trying to remember how how Bayona has kind of handled that in the past because the monster calls had did it have flashbacks or was it 
I can't remember how. No, I don't think it had any flashbacks. No, I think it had some tapes. I think he was watching tapes of himself and his mom. Yeah. Um, Okay. I don't think. Interesting. I don't think the impossible had flashbacks either. If this is a clip from the movie, though, they've got to sort out that horrible zoom effect. Yeah, the kind of the kind of the post post. Oh, this is a piece of handheld footage. It kind of tracks around the clip. You can always tell, and I guess in this case, though, you know, normally I'm always like, why didn't they just shoot it on like a real handheld camera? Like, if it's gonna, if it's supposed to look grainy and everything like that, just do it for real. But in this case, I guess it doesn't make sense if they had to render CG footage for it. Um, I guess you would. Yeah, but they do, it. I mean, they've got the best in the business. They didn't have to do such a poor sort of. Uh, it's never YouTube good, though, is it? Style. It's never good, though, is it? When any time a film does, um, like a fake handheld zoom look. You can tell. I mean, I can tell at least. True, true. Yeah, yeah. But that's what I mean. I obviously, I hope they solve it for this. But the clip itself is really cool. Um, you know where they are and everything. So let's debate that. If they're not in the visitor center, which it looks like they are, but then it doesn't make sense. And plus, he would have had to kind of trek there, so he'd be dirtier. Yeah, that's a good point. He would sort of. I would imagine, and like he's also seems like he's prepared to be handling Baby Blue as he has the uh, the whole falconer arm thing. Rather than just so, if this out. is a flashback, where would Baby Blue have been raised? I mean, so that's not the visitor center. It's just similar in terms of the art. Yeah, if this if this is pre Jurassic World and we're seeing him, maybe his first interaction with Baby Blue, the real Blue, if that's her. I mean, it looks then, like her. Yeah. So then, where where is this? Must I... be a a nursery or something, right? It within. I guess that would make sense. I, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess what's throwing me is that really is just so reminiscent of the mural from Jurassic Park that, that that's where my initial thought goes. Like, oh, it must be the visitor center. It must be the mural. But yeah, it's the same kind of art, same kind of tree in the middle there. But the like I said, the Elvis dinosaurs aren't there. Yeah, but would they be there in that exact shot? I feel like... Well, if that's if it's the middle tree, uh-huh. which it looks like it is, but then... Well, I'm trying no, to look. I don't. I don't think it is that artwork, Chris. It's I'm... so similar, but it's not the same. The other thing I'm looking now that I'm watching the footage play and play. If you look um, between Owen's legs where he's kneeling, you almost see like a concrete floor where the mural is no longer extending, and the mural would extend if it were in the visitor center. Do you see that? Yeah, it's I see that. Towards the tail end of the clip, you see. I think that's concrete or something. Yeah, and above him as well. Y- yeah, I can't really tell what's going on. Also, it looks, looks like, like an entranceway or something. It looks like there is real light coming down from the ceiling, though, wh- wherever this is. If it's a young baby blue, then it's not in the visitor center, that's for sure. Because we know they bred the raptors from birth, right? Something about Chris Pratt's reaction to this makes me feel like they filmed it using a, a practical effect. It doesn't look like he... Like, it looks like he saw something like that the puppeteers did and actually reacts to it. Like, oh, isn't that cool? Doesn't his face kind of say, like, oh, isn't that cool? Yeah. Maybe this is his first interaction with a CGI beast. Because I swear there was an article about that somewhere, right? Where uh, they talk about... Oh, was it James Cromwell talking about how nervous he was? Or he wasn't sure how this was going to work? Was it uh, him or was it... Oh, no, it was Rafi. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then he talked about working with up practicals. I don't know. That looks like CG. <clears throat> that looks like CG to me. Mm. So. It could be. So what did they say with the tweet? i got to find this tweet. From our family to yours. From our Jurassic family to Oh, yeah. Oh, because it's Thanksgiving soon, right? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, that doesn't look very scary. More like a six-foot turkey. (laughs) Um, Good call. You know. Film Bayona. uh, What did did Bayona say about it? He said the same thing. On behalf of our Jurassic family to yours. Um, Oh, right. Yeah, he he did both. Fallen Kingdom. Uh, What did Pratt say? Did he say anything? No. Yeah, I don't know, man. Maybe you're right. Maybe this isn't blues baby maybe this is baby blue i mean it looks literally just like her i'm just watching this on repeat and i just keep hearing blue purring in my ear (laughs) yeah it's kind of weird i like it happy turkey day is what uh frank said and bryce hasn't tweeted it yet nice work bryce (laughs) nice and on cue honestly yeah yeah. they're probably like wait there's footage out there what (laughs) nobody told us (laughs) yeah to be fair, yeah, it, it, it always seems to feel like they drop it without telling like, anyone. Telling anyone, like, another department's probably like, we're sharing footage today? <laughs> yeah. Do we update the website? What happens? Um, so, 
Uh, so I guess the question though is, just real quick, if it is Blue's baby, that means there's raptors that she bred with. But I'm the more we talk about, the less convinced I am about that. There's just a lot of really weird things about this footage. If it were Owen, like trekking out into the wilderness, coming across Blue's baby in a uh, in the old visitor center, there's just like a lot of inconsistencies there. That I guess. Yeah. That is my first instinct looking at that footage, but now I'm just really not sure. Shoot. I, I don't... <clears throat> I don't know. I just wish it was in HD. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because, I wish we had a better version of because it. Because <laughs> at the very least, then we could... It's definitely CG, um, but at least we'd have like a better idea of like exactly what we're looking at, and I would love just to be able to see her design and the shot. Yeah, I want a wider shot. Exactly. Yeah, I want like a nice like wide frame shot. Hey, you know what's cool? There's a, I don't think there's any teal color grading in this shot. I have to admit, yeah, it's very warm. That's nice. Um, and, uh, no, I really like the way they're doing the lighting on it. Also, it's got that harsh contrast that I think the first Jurassic Park did, um, where the raptor, like, the top of her head's really bright and overblown. Yeah. And that, that's something that the CG for the earlier Jurassic Park movies did a lot of. And it sort of reminds me of, um, I don't know, it just sort of reminds me of some of the CG we're seeing from Star Wars or anything. Less so much... Jurassic World was like almost over detailed where it looked kind of uncanny and fake because it was so sharp and it didn't really like look like it blended with the frame. And this mm. reminds me it's blending more with the frame for me, if that makes sense. But then again, it's compressed like crazy. So it's really hard to make an entire full call. Yeah. You're right about the lighting and everything though. It's, it's definitely uh composited better. Yeah, it I, looks I just way love more involved the, look in the of the lighting right here. Yeah, no, like the way that uh, her face is lit like that. I just love that uh harsh sort of lighting smack in her. Almost looks like her skin has a little set of uh like almost like translucency going on, the way like a small gecko would, but that might just Absolutely, be Absolutely, yeah. She's got such a fat <laughs> she's got such a fat neck. I'm just looking <laughs> yeah. at that like I could see like if I were drawing that where I would like where her jaw is and where her neck is and like my instinct would be to not have that little fat neck but it is kind of funny because everyone always said Blue was a fat raptor and I think this is their exact re response to that is like yeah she's always been like a little bit of a always been fed well and yeah everything. always well fed with like a little like extra uh, what is that called yeah, yeah. underneath their neck underneath their throat turkey gullet yeah like the little skin flap there <laughs> Um, but no, she's cute. There's something very Jurassic Park looking about that. It's very Crash McCreary. Yeah, it is. It's uh, It definitely plays on, like I said before, that original scene from the novel. And mm -hmm. then the concept art that we've seen of, of baby raptors and stuff. We're, yeah. we're kind of finally seeing that uh, connected to a Jurassic Park movie. It's funny because there's Again, so... There's... I, really don't, I really don't think this is from the movie. Though. I mean, I think it's in the movie, but you might be right. It might not be like entirely like it's, it might not be a scene in the movie like it might be a scene within a scene if that makes sense yeah that's that's what i'm going for i think i think it's on a they we see this on a camera or something or like a screen maybe hey maybe like when they're going through the uh when they're going back into the old park or like the new park but the, the old new park whatever i'm trying to say <laughs> um <laughs> maybe you know maybe somebody like loads up some files boots up the computer systems and they see this footage playing or something like that and they had a reason to go through it. I don't know. Hey, maybe, hey, maybe. Or, you know, hey, maybe Owen just sits there and watches it because he doesn't get to work with Velociraptors anymore and life is kind of boring now. Yeah, and he's well sad, mate. Yeah. I he's mean, got, like, he's got, like, a big flat screen TV in his shack in the middle of nowhere. Just sitting there. <laughs> and he just watches this six-second clip repeat, on repeat. repeat just <laughs> sobbing. Just like all the fans right now. <laughs> just this six-second This six is all I've got. <laughs> this is everything. Oh, <laughs> it wife. is weird though. I mean, when you look at the the marketing for Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom, we had a we had quite a strong start. We had um, it, how long ago was it? Six months with that image of uh, Lucy in the yeah in the museum. yeah yeah. Um, and then I was like, okay, th this is quite early to be getting something, and it looks like a screenshot from the film. Obviously, we found out it was a set photographer, but still a really awesome shot. Yeah, and then and then nothing, nothing. until now. Nothing like this, we got we got the poster and we got the title. Yeah, and the poster isn't isn't I don't consider it to be an amazing release because it's just usually they're just the logo. It's the on the same black logo. Or so. I mean, like a slightly different texture, but because they're not changing the logo anymore, it's always the T Rex. There's like not too much exciting going on. Yeah, it used to be like when the JP three logo came out. You remember the yeah. shitstorm that created? It was like, oh my god, a new dinosaur! That's so exciting! That's amazing! It would have been cool if 
Well, while it should probably always be the T Rex, and I think the T Rex is going to be king in Fallen Kingdom as well, or queen. Yeah, you know, I, I don't. Think um, we're, I don't think they're going to try to replace her like with like a new big no. bad. But it would be cool if the logo was slightly different. But then the logo is cool. But yeah, you had the poster, and then nothing. Nothing. Then this clip. It's yeah, so odd. <laughs> this clip jo- dropped without warning, and sort of just like, and here's a clip. But what does that have to do with the trailer? I don't know. I see that um, Joe Blow um posted that they believe the trailer's tomorrow but then they rescinded that and that yeah again that does not go with what we've heard at all (coughs) i mean maybe they'll post the trailer tease tomorrow that would be kind of neat if like this is the footage maybe then tomorrow they might post something that leads you a little bit closer to understanding when the trailer's coming out i would just love to officially hear the date or um have a better idea of maybe what the plan is yeah because it doesn't, yeah, like you said, Joe Blow, Joe Blow don't have an official schedule. Yeah, exactly. So and nobody I've, seems to really know when when it's going to come out. And I've been checking the servers and everything like that to make sure that there wasn't like a uh, anything updated along with this. And who knows? I mean, this might be the start of like maybe JurassicWorldMovie.com at some point today will switch over from the first Jurassic World to um, Fallen Kingdom. Because, you never know, man. You never know. Because it's still for the first Jurassic World, which is really weird. Um, but with the first footage now out there, you're going to have a lot of people suddenly looking up Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and looking for the trailer. And you're going to want to kind of lead them towards something that at least tells them, like, here's your here's your destination. Yeah. Like, not yet, but this is, like, where you want to watch. The, you're right, because this is... Yeah, you're so right with that, man. Because this is the first six-second clip. Everywhere's posting it now. It's all over Facebook, Instagram. People are going to be like, right where do I watch more Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom stuff? And they're going to go, and all they're going to see is the old website. Oh, hey. um, The Twitter. They they have a new banner on Twitter. It's no nothing crazy. Way. It's nothing crazy, but look, it's a different banner. The logo is slightly different. Jurassic World, yeah, the official one. Yeah. It looks like the logo... Oh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah, it looks like it might be like a, mo- like a motion logo or something like that. You see the way the God, lights Twitter's catching compression there? is so bad, man. You know what? I don't understand. Twitter's compression is horrible on um like the banners and the profile images, as well as videos. But if you upload a photo, Ooh, like in Chris, tweet it, Chris, Chris, the compression. What? Chris, go on the official Twitter page. Uh, sorry, Facebook page. They've got a motion video. Oh, I was gonna say this looks like a motion video. Yeah, they've got that right now, man. Yeah, so it's, it's cool. happening. It's the embers. It's the embers, man. It's happening. Uh, I think it's all starting. Yeah, it's beginning. Oh yeah, look at this motion logo. It's look at this 480p motion logo. <laughs> <laughs> God. God, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. I, though. That. I like that with the sound. Oh, is there sound? Well, yeah, you can unmute it on the Facebook page, but no, there isn't sound. Oh, the logo is slightly different there again by the way <laughs> another variant um like the texture is slightly different the color um the color contrast is slightly different um <laughs> <laughs> how many logos do we have now uh, this is at least three is it is fallen kingdom still improperly centered by the way uh, i haven't checked actually man that was a good realization <laughs> i remember you messaging funny. you're like guys guys fallen kingdom is not centered on the logo and it's funny because their merchandise logo where it has a slightly different contrast um, it's centered properly, right? But it's not properly centered on the main logo. I haven't checked on this one actually. Okay, cool. We got a bit of progress here. We got a bit of change. The uh, outpost header is now the uh, outpost Facebook page header is now the uh, the one that they just posted. Motion video. Yeah, I downloaded it. I'm checking EPK, but I don't see anything there. Um, hmm. I, I mean. There's things are definitely happening now. So I mean, <laughs> people people who are listening to this are probably like, "What the hell is this podcast right now?" <laughs> it's just me and you, yeah. Just like going, huh? I wonder what this is. Is there any updates? No, not yet. Anyways, hey Chris, Oz, uh, check the Outpost Facebook page. It looks really good, actually. Yeah, looks cool up there. All right. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, anyways, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, let's just do a quick check before we. Uh... Before we end this podcast, are any of the websites updated? Uh, I just checked JurassicWorld.com. Um, yeah, and... that's that's the same. But they've got um, no, nothing has changed. So they got a countdown on there now. Although has that 
the countdown. Did that ever actually go live? Because it's live on there now. Yeah, the countdown's yeah, been the... live for a while. Jurassic okay, Jurassic right. World movie still doesn't have anything um, that I can see uh, unless unless it's uploaded oh, on the back so end. Behind. Oh yeah, it's still just the trailer, isn't it? No, don't play the trailer. Thank you very much. Yeah. So, um, I guess yeah. this is a probably a good point to end this, uh, and, and if something else updates, we'll record more and edit it together. But is there anything else you want to say? Oh, what I want to point out, someone mentioned uh, Owen's falconer arm also sort of reminds them of, I think it was the Alan Grant Kenner toy with the bolo launcher. Yeah, I saw that. Was that uh, um, G- Justin that tweeted that? I don't remember who tweeted it. Um, that was cool, though. Very cool. But yeah, In okay, fact, so there's our motion poster, sort of. But it's more like a motion banner. But nonetheless, that that is a little bit more of a pro- a little more progress there. So yeah, so we're seeing some stuff today. There's some marketing happened. So, <laughs> yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully we get a little bit more like an idea of when that trailer's coming. Again, we told you what we've heard. Uh, hopefully that happens. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, the only thing that would happen differently is if they change their minds. As far as I know. Um, otherwise, I just yeah. December seventh, man. That's kind of far away. Two, three weeks. Two weeks. Yeah, it, it's it's two kind weeks. of far two away weeks though. Tomorrow, man. Just to let this six second video exist without any context. If this six second video is the only thing we have until the seventh, then that's weird. Yeah, that's, but that's I feel what I'm like saying. they could do one of they could do three or four more of these six second clips, and I think that would be great build up because we'd almost be like, okay, is it going to be tomorrow? Is it going to be the next day? <laughs> I think a, a clip a day until the trailer would be. Uh, it might be too much though. That would then be... it's only six seconds. It's well, only six seconds. If we did though. a clip a day though until December seventh, we would definitely have the whole trailer. Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's what they're aiming for. <laughs> Just you. You've already watched the whole thing by the time it's <laughs> yeah. there in Just... six second bites. <laughs> Just with no music. <laughs> It's interesting, but no, I think yeah, very exciting. Uh, I enjoyed this first clip. Not exactly what I was. You know what? If it's I a was, flashback, I, do you think we'll see the other baby raptors? I guess in background shots, maybe. Yeah, that that might be. Neat. If if it's definitely uh, baby, the real baby blue, then yeah, yeah. probably. Um, I don't know. It's interesting. I like this. Obviously, I wanted something uh, a bit darker for my first look at the movie. Something more somber and. Oh, we're coming back to Jurassic. Yeah, but this is cool. This is very. I like it. Um, Planet of the Apes style interaction. Yeah, I mean, when they've talked about this movie about being the um, humanity's sort of connection to dinosaurs, animal rights, like really taking a look at a deeper look at our relationship with these animals, and uh, this is a really good way to kind of maybe build an emotional core around that idea, and in a way that like really makes sense and it kind of raises the personal stakes for our characters. So, I I, I do really I really like what they're going for with this, and it just looks cool. A, A baby Velociraptor is something that we haven't seen since the first Jurassic Park. And yeah. which is just nuts because we've seen all these uh Velociraptor family dynamics in all of the movies, but we've never really seen a baby. I, I don't think we're gonna see adult Velociraptors interacting with babies in this movie, but man, I would love to see that at some point. It's interesting to see how this will play out. And if that is his Fallen Kingdom costume, but that's supposed if that's supposed to be baby blue then This this guy just really likes <laughs> <That> will... <laughs> this guy really likes that outfit. I'm going yeah. back. I'm pulling He's out. Like, I'm pulling you know out what? the lucky outfit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the lucky pack. Um, all right, cool, Chris. Great talking to you. There's no doubt going to be much more to say very soon. But uh, let us know what you think in the comments. If, the, if you're listening on YouTube, comment. What do you think of the clip? What do you think of us? Do you love us? Do you hate us? I think they hate us. They probably do. I don't yeah. blame them. I I hate us. Yeah. <laughs> let's be let's be truthful. Yeah. Let's um, let's be honest with each other. <laughs> <laughs> but no, very cool clip. Um, I'm hoping for more, and uh, no doubt you're going to hear from us uh, maybe later in the week, maybe next week. But that trailer is on the way, um, and I think it's a full trailer, right? I think they're not dropping like I don't think we're not going to get a teaser trailer or anything like that. I imagine I we're, we're going to get like a proper trailer at this point. Full on trailer, yeah. two minutes, two and a half minutes. Yeah. Nail it down. It's going to be exciting. All right. And um, until then. Or until later when we have to talk about more, who knows? Um, good chatting. That's it. Yeah, good talking to you, man. Check out DrasCalpost.com for all of your news and information. Ha <laughs> ha, 65.
Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash in general. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player.